Okay, so um, I've been looking forward to this week for a long time. I don't know, two or three weeks while I sourced this gorgeous pig's head here. Uh, the eyes are slightly destroyed and the fuckers took out the tongue, unfortunately, but um, whatever. So in front of me I've got everything I need to make uh, this pretty famous dish, Porchetta di Testa, and I've imported some knowledge in one of the best charcuterie butchers in the Northwest out of Portland. So we have a pig's head. I've got fresh rosemary. Um, those of you know who know what this is, uh, you know. Um, for those of you who don't, you don't want to know. It's pink salt, lemons, finely minced garlic, finely minced shallot, leeks, kosher salt, and about a quarter cup of uh, ground up red pepper flakes, fennel, and five bay leaves. So that's it. Um, Mike, how do you make this thing? Well, it's kind of a process, but you, uh, what's ca what Jed's going to do is he's going to take all the meat and skin off of the skull of this pig's head. He's going to start back here. These are the jowls. A lot of good meat in there. Um, he's going to leave the snout and ears attached, but he's going to peel it off and we'll save the skull for something else. We'll make some stock out of it or something to make a sauce or something but then you'll lay it out and you'll season it Ted will season it with all the ingredients he just showed you we'll tie it up nice and tight uh, into a torsion shape which is like a, a silt like a tube and uh, then we'll actually sous vide it we'll cook it we'll cook it under water in a thermal circulator that Jed just procured which is pretty nice and it'll cook for about 24 hours then it'll hang in refrigeration for about three days and while it hangs what will happen is all the fat and gelatin in this skin and meat will kind of congeal and we'll be able to slice this thing very thinly um, and we'll be, able to, we'll be able to eat it at that point. So that's kind of the long and short of it. I don't know. You're going to you're gonna have to watch Jed do it and see it happen. Thanks for coming in buddy. Thanks for having me Jed. You're my guru. Let's do this. All right, so we're getting going on the porchetta di testa. Jed's began to debone this pig. So as you can see that he's worked it off the jawline there. He's going in under the jowls, working towards the snout. It gets a little tough in here in terms of the connective tissue, but dude, I can't tell you how exciting this seriously is. But Jed's on it. And he's doing a damn good job. I've done this a few times myself. Jed's never done it, and I'd say he's a natural. Jed, do you have anything to say about it right now? Um, no, man. I've been looking forward to this next like four or five days for um, I don't know. Since you started talking about a porchetta de testa a year ago, and it almost made me sick. Um, six months later, I really started looking at it and became infatuated. Now, I cannot wait to eat this thing. I can't thank you enough for coming over here and helping me with this. Um, I'm so pleased with the head. Yeah, uh, beautiful. One more time, lift that beautiful. up just to show the meat once. That is incredibly beautiful. Here's where we're at. We got the cheeks off pretty much. Yeah, that's that's incredibly fresh. We're fortunate to be able to deal with this product. I mean, a lot of people got to put some effort in to find it, which Jed did. And you can just that that effort's worth it. It's a beautiful piece of meat. And it's not going to waste, all you vegans. So. It's phenomenal. That is, I mean, that's just a fresh, healthy pig. Wow, look at that, that chunk of meat right behind the eye right here. Like that jaw, or the or occipital bone comes up here, whatever it is. Look at that chunk, Jennings. Yeah. Jeez. Get in there, dude. Dig deep. I wonder if I can get it out. That's his eye, f eye muscle, dude. Delicious. Oh, we need it.
twisting it around. This thing's tough, dude. Yeah. Oh, I don't want to kill it. Come on. There it is. Oh, what an amazing little animal. Nice. Oh, yeah. There you go. This is what we've been looking for. Yeah. That is what we've been looking for. It's Halloween, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, sir. Job well done. <laughs> Any deer I've ever touched. To say it's something. That looks pretty good, Jed. We'll take a little more right here. Kosher and pink salt, two lemons are squeezed on here, juice wise. And there's about, what do you say, half a cup of salt there, maybe? Half a cup of salt with. Two, two teaspoons ish of pink salt. Don't fuck around with pink salt, because it. Two teaspoons of pink salt at, too at, much, the, at the most? Too much is bad for you. <laughs> what do you think? What if, what if you just ate a teaspoon of it? What happened? Does anybody know? No, I think. Maybe in the Bible somewhere. But. Not getting it at all. Look, yeah. And then, and then. It looks like you may be over seasoning, but you're not because it's been a long time, people. Oh, look at that! <laughs> oh, oh, we need butcher's twine, dude.